Grenada's Prime Minister Dickon Mitchell urged public sector retirees who began receiving delayed gratuity and pension payments to spend the money wisely. On Tuesday, the government, which came into the office following that June 23rd general election, began making pension and gratuity payments to retirees ahead of that November 30th deadline. It said that the payment of these long overdue benefits symbolizes the government's dedication to its transformation agenda that seeks to empower its people, make good on commitments to citizens, and be transparent in its governance of the country. Over 500 Grenadians are eligible to receive their pension payment this month, and the Prime Minister told Grenadians that data coming out from the Ministry of Finance is that the retractive payment is going to be in the region of the $60 billion. However, that has been moved up to $75 million. I'm happy that my administration was able to make good on its commitment to pay the pension. Although this matter took several decades, the fact that we made the decision early, the fact that the pension secretariat uh, was formed quickly, well staffed, and the, the, the folks and the personnel that worked hard to make this a reality is, I think, testimony to our commitment as a people to make sure that things happen. And that when we say we will deliver on something, that we put our best foot forward to make sure that happens. So the praise really has to go to the pension secretariat, to Mike, Tonya, uh, the audit department, the Accountant General's Office for ensuring that this was done in a timely manner. Now, this is no small feat. The transfer of $44 million from the state to the citizens and eventually uh, the projections is that as much as $75 million will be transferred from the state to the citizens is perhaps the single largest transfer of wealth from the government to the citizens in the history of Grenada's post-independence.